right. There's two basic ways we can solve this problem. Hey, y'all. Um, if I don't have the... Uh, hey, Paul. So I'll show you the, the two ways we can solve this. The first way, um, you can make a map. So we'll, we'll make a counts, calling a full map of string to end. So an empty map. And then what we're going to do is loop over each word in the string. And so the way we can do that is by saying, OK, so strings.field, stat returns, a list of words, a slice of words inside of the string. So that does a lot of the work for us. We use range to loop over that and get the word for each one. Remember, this would have been the index. We don't care about the index. Because the problem is, I want to find the word count. I don't care where in the word, in the string it happens. Um, so I can ignore that. And then for each one, I increment, OK? And then I return counts. So let me make sure that works real quick. Um, go install. that I think is right. Uh, let's change it to the example that was in the problem, which was test test, and make sure that it returns test as two. Okay, so it works. It counts the number of words inside of a string. So this is like really short, and so I'll explain what it is doing more broken out here. What it's doing is getting the count. It's adding one to it, and then it's putting it back in. Okay. And it's doing this for every word. So this is the same thing I did before, just a little more broken out. So I, I'm going to the first word, looking if it's in there. Remember that if it's not in there, then go and defaults to zero, which is fine. That's exactly what we want, because the count is zero. So that works. Then we implement it and put it back in there. Okay. Everybody following this way of doing it? Any questions about this? Um, so line 11, counts word, gets the value. And sets that equal to whatever count is. Yep. And then line 12 increments the value by one. Yep. And line 13 says take counts word and make the this key word and make the value count. Yeah. So remember that uh, in, in Go when I pull out the value, it's a copy of the value. So when I change it, it changes it here, but it doesn't change it inside of the map. So in order to change it in the map, I have to go put it back. Okay. So take it out, change it, put it back. Uh, when I do plus plus, it's doing that for me, okay? So I don't have to write it out this way. Um, you could also say that. That's the same as plus plus. Okay. You can also say same thing. Okay, so the other way we can save this is by using another list. So this is a very efficient way to say, say, do this, a less efficient way, but equally valid in the sense of working, uh, is to do, do this with another list. OK, so we have our words. Uh, and then we're going to have our counts. And this time, we're going to use a slice instead of uh, a map. And so we're going to have a slice of strings. So this is empty, right? There's, no, there's nothing inside this list. It starts out empty. And then we're going to loop over each word in the words, OK? And the idea here is that now we're going to loop over each count in the counts. And this is, this is a word as well. So uh, we can call this the would have to have another list. Um, this is going to get out of hand quickly. <laughs> yeah, probably. Keep it simple. Anyway, I'm just saying you can implement the, uh, the lookup via a list too. So I can loop over the 
in this case, we're going to have to keep track of the index too. Right. And then counts. And so on. Um, and then if word is equal word count. Uh, and so then we have to make a count. And we have to put it back in and so on. It's going to get out of hand really quick. But uh, in general, uh, this is way less efficient way of doing this. Uh, if you want to do lookups, use a map. You, you can do lookups with a list, right? The idea of doing a lookup with a list is you just start at the front of the list and go until you find it, and then there you go, that's it. But that is inefficient because you're having to walk through the, each the list every single time. Okay? And so you do that a lot. Um, we'll actually see a better way with structs of how to structure data so that you can do this list thing. In this case, I'm doing two lists, and that gets confusing quickly. So let's just not do it that way. Uh, any questions about word count? So that's an example of a problem that might have seemed a little complicated. And the basic process is you, you look at it and think, how do I solve this problem? Let's put the computer to the side for a second and think, how do I solve it? Do it on pen and paper and just try to figure it out. And then translate the way you do it in your head into how you do it on the computer. The approach you take is the algorithm. Okay, that's the idea of the algorithm. So a lot of programming involves creating an algorithm to solve the problem, and then translating the algorithm into code. Um, any questions about word count? Uh, what you just took out or just went back to was that for order or no? No, there's no reason to use the second version. Okay. Is there a way to control the order? Do you mean the order for this? Yeah. Uh, well, the problem didn't say we needed to, so there's no reason to do so. If you did, like if you wanted the, the list in alphabetical order? Well, no, right now I, I don't think it goes in chronological order. Either, right? Like it just fits down in a random order. Like if you write it multiple times. It's a map. Yeah, because the problem doesn't care. I just want to be able to know, you know, uh, so the, you would use this function, right? Number of cats, let's say. Uh, and let's, you know. Well, let's just say I have a one cat inside of the string, I have a cat. So the, the person who wants to get word counts, they're just wanting to be able to use it, okay? So the, the order doesn't matter. Um, there's nothing in here that says where the cats occur in the string, because uh, that's not what it's for, okay? So if I have multiple cats, Maps are unordered. If you need order, we'll see that with structs and how we can do that, but it's going to be complicated. Um, any other questions about word counts? Perfect.